one of the phrases in your session was programmatics ready to hit the streets. What do you mean by that? Is that towards the mobile generation? Or? Yeah, so I think um, we're seeing, you know, mobile is growing very quickly. Yep. Um, however, I think one of the things I talked about in my session was when you look at uh, Mary Meeker's uh, internet trends report uh, that's released on a yearly basis. The most recent one came out. Um, what you do see is there's still that gap between yeah. consumption and revenue. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really about how do we bridge that gap. And I think mobile location has uh, an important part to play okay. in doing that. So can you tell us a bit more about how, how you'd use programmatic within a location-based location marketing approach? Yeah, so I think if you think about um, how programmatic is excelled on desktop, it's done it on the foundation of the cookie, yeah. essentially which gives you um, an idea of who somebody is based on their online behavior, essentially the websites that they visit or the cat videos that they watch, for example, yeah. whatever people are doing um, on, their, uh, on, their, on, on their desktop. If you think about mobile, actually, if you transfer that, that um, notion of cookie to mobile, it's not really what people are browsing on on their websites, but yeah. it's uh, on their mobile phones. It's more about where are those people going in the real world. So, uh, for example, I came to this conference today. It yeah. tells you a lot about me, potentially. Uh, which hotel I stayed in. Um, I'm going to be doing the school run tomorrow with my children. Um, I'm going to visit a certain restaurant. So the actual places that you go um, is what I would call the real world cookie. Yeah. So in the same way that the website you visit is, is a proxy of the online cookie, yeah. the places that you visit um, intimate who you are through a real world cookie. Okay, so you've, you've done some pretty interesting work with KFC on this, haven't you? Yeah. Um, could you just tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So we worked on a, um, a campaign with KFC and, and the, the mandate there was how can we drive football, football into stores um, through mobile devices? Yeah. Because their, their target audience was essentially millennials and millennials are always using their mobile devices. So how, how can we do that? So what we did is we ran a campaign where we were targeting people in real time um, around KFC stores. Yeah. So millennials with it around KFC stores. Um, people at competitor locations, so the Big Kings, McDonald's, yeah. etc., and uh, people who had historically visited a fast food restaurant. So we action all these campaigns um, within real time, putting people on their mobile devices based on their location. Uh, and what we found is because we could see from our technology when we served somebody an ad and then they've gone into store, yeah. uh, we were able to project actual lift. So we were able to tell KFC. This is how many people have actually visited your stores incrementally. Yeah. Um, and what we found was we drove 18,000 store visits as a result of that campaign. Yeah. So it was a massive success. Um, another thing we did is we increased engagement with the ads. So um, the ads actually performed 40% above uh, the industry budget. Okay. So yeah. um, it's a huge, huge milestone. I think we're going to see more of that um, in the future. Yeah. So how do you go about gaining those um, profiles to start with? How do you? So if someone's gone into KFC, how yeah. would you gather that information? <coughs> so yeah, so, so, two, so a couple of things. I mean, we're a real-time company. So we're looking at around uh, 500 billion impressions on a monthly basis, yeah. um, which equates to around 325 million unique users. So operating at massive scale. Yeah. What we're doing is through our technologies, we're able to tell um, where these users are in the real world. Mm -hmm. So we have a technology called Blueprints, that actually maps, maps the geo boundaries of about 100 million points of interest yeah. uh, globally. So what we're able to do is then build these really rich insights based on where people are in real time, where do people go, um, and then build a very accurate picture of who a person might be yeah. uh, based on the places that we're going. Okay, so it all sounds fairly intimidating if you wanted to move into that and sure. programmatic location-based marketing. What tips would you give to someone that wanted to enter into that kind of field? Yeah, I think um, my advice to anybody would be to, especially if you have um, physical retail location, yeah. um, or the majority of your commerce actually happens in store, then you should definitely be looking at location because it's a way of influencing people in the moment, yeah. um, unlike any other media. Um, so it is the, the one, one device that actually connects um, the physical and digital worlds together. So my, my advice to anybody um, who, fit, who fits that criteria would be to test. Test and learn, test and learn. And um, 
you know, whether it's with somebody like Exad or, or another partner in the space, um, I don't think you'll know um, until, until you until you look at this. Um, but any partner would should be able to um, guide you through what what it, what it requires to be successful. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for that. No, thank you. <laughs>